And good news for either Yankees or Angel fans. Which group? Well, we need the highlights and the final score thing to figure that out, don't we? Game one of the divisional series between New York and L.A. of Anaheim. Bartolo Colon in the first got the first two outs easy, but that third one could be troublesome. Top first, two outs, Jason Giambi, singles to right. And you know, everything starts with two outs. Two outs, one on Gary Sheffield. He continues the damage. Then Hideki Matsui with two outs and two on, singles to right. Giambi, he's not very fast. Vlad Guerrero, he can throw it really far and really fast, so they hold him there at third. Now, two out hits get you to heaven. There is a lot of Yankees waiting to see St. Peter among them. Robinson Cano, first postseason game, first postseason at bat. He delivers over the head of Garrett Anderson. Giambi, Sheffield, Matsui, they all come in to score. Three run double with two out. Yankees lead 3 0. Cano, excellent work by him. We go to the second inning and Cologne, much the same trouble. Two outs, nobody on. There's Derek Cheater, who actually didn't get a hit in the first inning, so he makes up for it with a base knock there in the second. Now, two outs, one on. Instead of a base hit, it's a hit batsman, Alex Rodriguez. That's going to leave a bruise. Oh, he goes down right but he stayed in the game he's tough he is a hockey player even Matt Sui ouch didn't look like that felt good two outs two on Giambi this time another not gang six for eight with two away in the first two innings Jeter's going to score. A-Rod will stop third. Giambi the RBI double. Yanks lead 4 nothing. Bartolo Colon, seven innings pitch, four earned, eight hits. Bottom five. Angels still being shut out. Sean Figgins fly ball. Look at Matsui giving effort. Effort is the key to success. Look at it again. Good hustle there. Yusina, he's fired up. Five and two-thirds shut out innings for his start. Bottom eight, Tom Gordon pitching for New York. Orlando Cabrera, big ride. Gary Sheffield, big catch at the warning track. Ends the inning, Tom Gordon, he likes that. Nothing the pitchers like better than good defense behind him. Bottom nine, Yanks still up 4-1. Mariano Rivera in to close. He's given up only one earned run in 39 career innings pitched in the ALDS. Darren Erstead nicks him in between hop, gets by Cano. Vlad Guerrero scores, ruled a single. So the Leafs cut to 4-2 on an earned run by Rivera. Who knows? Sun probably won't come up in the East. Next batter, Benji Molina. Name your Molina. They get one. Molina beats it out. He's safe at first. He also homered for the Halos' first run. But the next batter, Casey Kochman, is the tying run. And, well, he's hitting with two picks now. A-Rod will love that. The Yanks hold on to win it 4-2 and take the one love series lead. The Yanks get the 199th postseason win in franchise history. Fifth straight time. The Angels drop a game one, which, of course, didn't seem to bother them back in 2002. Yankees score all four runs with two outs during the regular season. In New York, dead last in baseball in percentage of runs scored with two outs. Rivera first earned run in the LDS since 97, his first walk since 98, but they survived. Good start for the stripes, especially the starter. When you're, when you're pitching on the road and you get to go to the mound uh, in the very first inning with, with runs, uh, that's a big deal. And, uh, you know, when you know that, that uh, they've got a um, a possible Cy Young winner pitching and the quality of bullpen that they have uh, getting runs early in the game is, is uh, obviously a big factor in, in giving yourself a chance to win. Mike pitched a terrific ball game in the summer against us and it looked like he picked up where he left off. He, um, you know, he, he uh, had good life on the ball. He changed speeds well through some terrific breaking balls and settled in and pitched his type of game. All right, bouquets all around there, huh? Since joining the Yanks in 2001, Messina has opened a postseason series six times, starting to figure it out. His first four game one starts, 0-4, ERA approaching five. Taken deep six times, starting with last year's ALCS against the Red Sox. He's now won his last two game one starts, ERA less than three, has not given up any home runs. John Crook. One at home to the Yankees, sure, they can laugh about it. Robinson Cano and Ruben Sierra. Which one's the rookie? Which one's the veteran? Cano looks cool. Here he goes the other way on the top of the second. Scores a Deki Matsui. Cano has driven four of the first five Yankee runs in the series. Bottom four. Still one nothing. One on for Benji Molina. Hard ground ball. Oh. Middle. What's Cano doing there? He robs Molina of a hit. Well, here's why he was in perfect position. Vlad Guerrero takes off to steal second. That forces Cano to go to the bag and try to cover, and Cano's already there when the baseball's hit to him. Top of the fifth, here's Matsui. He's not just running, he's hitting. Now he's running hard. Sean Figgins, tremendous play to get him at first, and the Angels escape. Pretty good play at first base there, too. Angels trailing 2-0. Not anymore. Former Yankee farmhand Juan Rivera, a home run. Rivera, 
four for six in the series in the first two games, a one run game. Bottom six, Orlando Cabrera chops to third. The normally sure handed A Rod boots it. E5, Cabrera to first. Now there's two outs in the inning. Benji Molina comes through in the clutch with a single to center. That scores Cabrera. We're tied at two. The A Rod error comes back to haunt the Yanks. Bottom seven, still 2 2. Rivera, high chopper to short. He will beat the Derek Jeter throw. It's a single. The very next batter is Steve Finley. He tries to bunt, chops it off the plate. He's going to beat the throw. Error on the pitcher, Wong. Two on now for the Angels. Now there's two outs, second and third. It's Cabrera. And the former Boston shortstop comes up in the clutch. Base hit to center, drives in the pinch run of Jeff Devannon and Finley. Angels take the lead 4-2. Wong would leave after pitching very well. Francisco Rodriguez enters for the ninth. After he allowed a Jorge Posada home run, K-Rod gets A-Rod to ground to third. Another nice play by Figgins. That's your ball game. 5-3 Angels. They even the series at one. Three of the Angels' five runs were scored in clutch plays because there were two outs. As for the Yankees, not so clutch. One for nine with runners in scoring position. Oh, and those three errors really stand out in the playoff game. We gave a couple extra outs, and, and we paid the price for it. But, you know, you have two teams playing hard, and, uh, you know, we start over again on uh, Friday. We didn't have many hits, but they sure all counted. Um, you know, we uh, caught a break with that ball, I think, got the lights on, on, um, on Alex at third base. That Orlando hit. But those the two out hits have been there all year for us, and, uh, and tonight we got them, and that was, uh, you know, that was what we needed. For the Angels, they even the series with another home playoff win. Get this, since 1982, they're 13 and 5 in postseason home games. A 7.22 win percentage is the best in the bigs over that span. It's a minimum of 10 home games. White Sox need an opponent in the ALCS. Angels and Yanks all even in their series. Game three of the Bronx is seen here on ESPN. Randy Johnson, some choice words for Yankee fans. If they want to boo me, then boo me or, or cheer me, but do something because I feed off of that and I have my pretty much my whole career. That was Thursday. This is Friday. Unit had allowed just one home run to a lefty hitter all season, Eric Kinski. Well, one of the postseason, Garrett Anderson. Anderson had been three for 18 against the unit. Benji Molina, oh. he hit 15 home runs in the regular season. He's got three home runs and three playoff games. Last guy to do it in three straight, Mark Bellhorn, last year. 5 0 Angels. Johnson struggling early. Top of the fourth, still 5 0. Rob Quinlan. He, too, can get a hit off the unit. Darren Erstad held to third. Here's Joe Torrey. There goes Randy Johnson. <laughs> All right, he wanted Yankee fans to be vocal. They were. Three innings, nine hits, five runs against Johnson. Hideki Matsui. Wait a second. Yanks are in the game. It's 5-1. Don't go anywhere. Later in the inning, two out. Runner on third, Derek Jeter. Captain Clutch RBI. It's a 5-3 game. And here we go. Jason Giambi. How does a shift working for you now? Delivers a hit through the shift. It's a 5-4 ball game. Two on, two out. Gary Sheffield sinking liner. Doesn't matter where Sean Figgins is. Third base or center field. Great defense out of him. The Yanks were down a run. Still down a run in the bottom of the fifth. Robinson Cano. Five RBIs in the series for the rookie. Figgins slides to stop at the throw to Orlando Cabrera. Emails a throw home. So the, Yankee gave, the Yankees were able to tie it. The error on the throw allowed the runner to go to third. So the Yankees would take a lead on a sack fly. Top six, Darren Erstead. Singles to right. Gary Sheffield comes up throwing. Juan Rivera goes down slide and he's in. We're tied at six. Later in the inning, two down. Figgins was 0 for 11 in the series. Not anymore. Delivers the go-ahead single that scores Erstad. Figgins went two for six with an RBI. Angels reclaim the lead. Bases loaded, bottom of the six. Scott Shield gets Cano to make an out. Robinson Cano doesn't make many outs. No. And he did there. Shields two innings strong, no earned. Top of the seventh, Benji Molina hitting 455 in the series. Wow. 
hit by Tom Gordon. X-rays on the elbow negative. He'll be reevaluated on Saturday. Garrett Anderson, the next batter, base hit, scores Vlad Guerrero. Anderson went four for five with five RBIs. As for Benji Molina, he said he was scared, couldn't feel his, feel his hand. He'd be replaced by his brother, Jose, which is always convenient. So the Angels can clinch the series Saturday. They set their postseason record with 19 hits. Aaron Small, 10-0 during the regular season. He wound up losing this game. The game was never halted due to the rain. Still lasted exactly four hours. As for Randy Johnson, chased in the fourth after 62 pitches, the shortest playoff stint of his 15 career postseason starts. I, I would have paid a ticket to watch me pitch today. I probably would have booed myself. Uh, you know, I, they, they've come to expect a little more out of me. I expect a little more out of myself. We don't see who's pitching out there. All we try to do is looking for our pitch, uh, no matter who's pitching that day against us, and we show that. So uh, we know who he is. We got respect for him. But uh, the bottom line for us is waiting for a good pitch to hit. When you're facing a, a club like the Yankees, uh, you know they're going to swing the bats. Uh, you know they're going to score, and you have to match them. They're a tough offensive group, and uh, not only do we have to pitch well, but we have to start to do some things offensively if we're going to win this series. Well, the Angels look like a tough offensive group. The 11 runs allowed by the Yankees tied for the third most in a postseason game at Yankee Stadium. Also interesting to note, the three other times New York has allowed at least 11 runs at the stadium, the Yankees went on to win those series. Carl Ravitch and the gentlemen of baseball tonight weigh in on Randy Johnson's effort and what you just might see Saturday, weather permitting. If I would have paid a ticket to watch me pitch today, I probably would have booed myself. Uh, you know, I, they, they've come to expect a little more out of me. I expect a little more out of myself. Down the stretch, he's been so locked in and, and, and so dominant that, you know, we didn't see this coming. But, you know, it happened. I didn't fare well. Obviously, I didn't pitch well. Uh, uh, the game looked promising when I left the game. When the Yankees acquired Johnson in the offseason, one of the main reasons was for the five-time Cy Young Award winner to win games like these in October. You set, set your rotation. You have a guy like Randy, Randy Johnson who uh, you certainly have a great deal of confidence in. And, you know, he just wasn't able to locate. Regular season game, it's one thing. You know, you got several more starts to uh, kind of redeem yourself. and. Hopefully I'll have a chance to redeem myself in their postseason game, but the point being is you, you can't afford to make mistakes in postseason games, especially in a five-game series, opposed to, uh, you know, when you're making 35, 30, 34, 35 starts a year. In his career, Johnson has made nine division series starts. He won his first one, beating the Yankees in 1995. Since then, he's 0-7 in those starts with a 5.33 earned run average. In the Bronx, Pedro Gomez, ESPN. Thank you, Pedro. Yeah, no decision, but not off the hook. Yankee fans counting on the big unit to be big. And to New York, Yankee Stadium, ALDS Game 4. Angels clinch with a win. White Sox await Sean Chacon. First career postseason start. John Lackey pitching on three days rest and replacing Jared Washburn, who had a throat infection. Two out, Vlad Guerrero. First inning, two for 13 career against Chacon. Make him two for 14. Chacon sharp despite 10 days rest between starts. Lackey, third inning. Clearing the mechanism with Jorge Posada on second. Derek Jeter swinging. And then Posada on third after a wild pitch. A-Rod, good game to watch. The first three hitters in the Yanks lineup when it combined 0 for 8. Lackey had a no-hitter for four and two-thirds. Angels, sixth inning. Runner on third, two out. Sean Figgins doubles to right off. Chacon Juan Rivera who walked, runs home. It's 1-0 Angels. Next batter. Orlando Cabrera and it's double trouble. Figgins scores 2-0 Angels. Vlad struck out to end the inning. Chacon went six and a third, four hits, two earned, five Ks. Bottom six, runner on second, two outs, Gary Sheffield. Two for 10, career against Lackey with no RBIs, but this is the postseason, and this is a 2-1 game. A-Rod comes around to score. We got a ball game, Lackey, five and two thirds, two hits, one earned, six Ks. Bottom seven, Mariano Rivera warming up, but, but the Yankees are trailing, so why is he warming up? Two on, one out, Scott Shields facing pinch hitter Ruben Sierra. Delicious. Lines a single to right. Robinson Cano, who reached on an infield single, scores, and the ball game is tied. Next batter with runners at the corners, Jeter. 
Grounds to Figgins at third, handcuffed a bit, comes home. Posada gets in under the Benji Molina tag. Take another look, ball in Molina's right hand. Not in the glove, foot on the bag, safe. Yankees lead 3-2, eighth inning. Now bring in the Sandman, Steve Finley. He's a voyeur. One, two, three, eight for Rivera. Bottom eight, one on, one out. Bernie Williams, perhaps his final at bat at Yankee Stadium. Didn't get enough of it. Flies out to center, 15 years in pinstripes. That's worth at least a curtain call. Top nine, two outs. Rivera facing Vlad. Grounds out to Cano. That will end the game. Over to Bamtino. Brian Cashman, the general manager, relieved. And the Yanks, 3-2, going to Anaheim for the decider on Monday. Al Leiter wins a postseason game for the first time since game one of the 1993 World Series. Teams combined for only eight hits. Angels left only one man on, but Angel pitchers issued eight walks and had three wild pitches. Mariano Rivera, 34th career postseason save. The ovation was great, you know what I mean? In Yankee Stadium, I mean, I, I was expecting that today. Um, huge game, and uh, the fans got involved in the game, and uh, I kind of like it. You know, I love that because uh, it helped us on the way, you know, and uh, I'll be ready for tomorrow. Definitely, I'll be ready for tomorrow. They match up really well, especially, you know, from, well, now from the sixth inning on. Now that they have, you know, shields in that spot, they have two setup men that, uh, you know, you really have to work at it. And, you know, we, we made the most out of what we did in that uh, inning where we got the lead. Yankees are three and three in winner take all postseason games under Joe Torre. Mariano Rivera coming up big, 12th career postseason save of at least six outs. Now double the career total of Goose Gossage, the player with the second most all time. Drama in the shadows of Disneyland. Rare that a team would be rewarded by being forced to fly a red eye to Chicago. Hate the middle seat, the first class all the way, rather the Yankees or the Angels. Bartolo Colon. This guy, the American League Cy Young Award winner. Here at the top of the first with two on and two out, he gets Matsui swinging to get out of the gym. Now watch here at the top of the second to Robinson Cano. Cologne appears to be in some pain. Mike Sosha comes out to check on his starter. Cologne would leave, how devastating. Here's your ace, your rotation all set up. He leaves after one inning with a shoulder injury. Urban Santana on, walks Bernie Williams, walks Jorge Posada, and you can see where this is going. Next batter, Bubba Crosby, base hit to right. Bernie's still running hard. Williams comes around, and he will score, and the Yankees have a 1-0 lead. Bottom of the second, it's a 2-1 game. Adam Kennedy with two on and two out. Kennedy, long fly to right. Gary Sheffield and Bubba Crosby collide. And it's a bad collision. The ball rolls around as both players stay down. Benji Molina and Steve Finley score, and it's a 3-2 game. This is very un-Yankee-like as Crosby and Sheffield collide. Kennedy given a triple. 3-2 Angels, both Crosby and Sheffield stay in the game. To the third. Angels up 4-2, two. two on for Darren Erstad. Erstad bounces to first. Jason Giambi throws home. Not a force, therefore not in time. Vladimir Guerrero scores, it's 5-2 Halos. Here's where the controversy comes in. Two on, two out, top of the fifth. Robinson Cano strikes out. Ball gets away. Benji Molina will throw down to first. The ball gets by Erstad, but Cano is called out for running inside the baseline. There's the runner's lane to the right. You see the replay, the inside of the bag, and that allows Santana to get out of the jam. Here in the sixth, hey, relief's good enough for Roger Clemens, good enough for Randy Johnson. In a relief of Mike Mussina with a base loaded and two out, gets Orlando Cabrera to ground out. Four and a third, shutout relief for Randy Johnson. Top of the seventh. Here's Derek Jeter. This guy ever make an out in a big spot? The answer to that is no. This is Derek Jeter's 16th career postseason home run. He passes Babe Ruth, sixth all-time postseason homer lift. Here's K-Rod trying to close the door now. Top nine, one on. Alex Rodriguez, a chance to get a clutch hit himself. Instead, though, grounds into the 5-4-3 double play. Two batters later. The Angels, one out from advancing. One on, two out for Sheffield, and an infield single. First and second, First and, second and two out. Here's Hideki Matsui, the last hole. 
And the pitch, a swing and a ground ball, a diving stop at first by Erstad. He feeds K-Rod covering, and the Angels have won it. The Angels win 5-3. They take the series in five games. Less than 24 hours after arriving in Anaheim, they're headed for Chicago. The Angels back in the league championship series for the first time since winning it all three years ago. We mentioned Bernie Williams, perhaps his final game as a Yankee, a record 120th postseason game. He went 0 for 3 with a walk. But 22-year-old rookie Irvin Santana has to be the story. Didn't have time to be nervous. Five and a third of gutsy relief at double A to start the season. He gets the win, allowing three runs on five hits. Were you nervous? Tan nervioso. Same question. No. Oh, it's season. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have to be nervous, you know, because uh, that's a game. That's a baseball game. You don't have to put a pressure in you, you know, just pitching. And if something happens, happen. We were not going to hold back tonight with anything. Uh, to get to a, a point where, uh, you know, we were going to maybe compromise what we need to do tonight to worry about tomorrow. And you can see Irvin, although it was earlier than we had anticipated maybe uh, having to go to our bullpen, uh, we needed him tonight, and he, he pitched a terrific ball game. Mike Sosha becomes just the second manager ever to defeat the Yankees twice in a postseason series. The only other, Walter Alston, he beat the Yankees with the 55 Dodgers and then the 63 Dodgers, both in the World Series. As for the Yankees, their season ends without a World Series title for the fifth straight season. My feelings are deep disappointment. I don't remember being this disappointed because uh, I wanted this very badly. Uh, I guess that's why you're in the game. Um, and, you know, it's just, uh, it's tough. It's hard. Um... We know we uh, our season's over, so it's, we're going home now. It's it's uh, you know it's tough to swallow, but uh, they play better than us. They beat us, and uh, you know that's pretty much all you can say. And there's a team that's been through a lot of trials and tribulations, and uh, we knew coming in that Anaheim was going to be a real tough match for us. They play really well, and uh, you know we left our guts out there. Right? You know I couldn't be more proud of the guys and the effort, and you know, I'm speechless right now. Well, this game bared some striking similarities to the last time the Yankees lost an ALDS game five. And 97 against the Indians had the winning run at the plate, also beaten by a rookie pitcher. Back in 97, it was Bernie slumping two for 17 in the series. This time, A-Rod just two for 15 against the Angels, no RBIs.